Well, first let me say on Israel, I know there's been some questions about when the president will speak with Prime Minister Netanyahu, which was, I think, the root of that question or how the question started. So um, let me first confirm for you that uh, his first call uh, with a leader in the region will be with Prime Minister Netanyahu. Uh, it will be uh, soon. I don't have an exact day for you, but it is soon. Stay tuned. Uh, Israel is, of course, an ally. Uh, Israel is a country where we have an important strategic security relationship, and our team is fully engaged, not at the uh, at the head of state yet level quite yet, but very soon. Uh, but our team is fully engaged, having constant conversations at many levels uh, with the Israelis. Uh, and on Saudi Arabia, I would say, you know, we've made clear uh, from the beginning that we're going to recalibrate our relationship um, with um, uh, Saudi Arabia, and that, uh, you know, President Biden, on uh, one of the questions there was uh, also, just to go back to the context of it, uh, whether he would be speaking with uh, MBS. And part of that is going back to engagement counterpart to counterpart. The President's counterpart is King Salman. Uh, and I expect that an appropriate time, he would have a conversation with him. I don't have a prediction of the timeline on that. But I'll also say that um, you know, we have uh, uh, Saudi Arabia is in a position where they are defending themselves from, uh, from uh, threats from the region. Um, you know, they, are, uh, they have critical self-defense needs. And we will continue to work with them on those, even as we make clear uh, areas where we have disagreements and where we have concerns. And that's certainly a shift from the approach of the prior administration. I was quite focused on our COVID-19 response team. Good day. Thank you.